In his theory of relativity, physicist Albert Einstein suggested that time and space could bend, creating what are known as gravitational waves. A century later, a team of scientists has observed the phenomenon a billion light years away from Earth. Their work has earned them a Nobel Prize in physics. This year's prize is about a discovery that shook the world. The award will be split between Rainier Weiss of MIT and Barry Barish and Kip Thorne of Caltech, researchers who lead LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. They used LIGO to observe gravitational waves deep in space where two black holes collided. We've opened a new field of astronomy and astrophysics, and that's really, I think, the fundamental thing that's so new about this. And that is not uh, that the Einstein waves are interesting, and the fact that you can directly detect them is important, but the real payoff is going to be in the future. The LIGO project began in the 1970s and has so far cost about a billion dollars. Along the way, some scientists doubted gravitational waves could be detected, but the researchers never gave up. You have to be willing to take risks to do great things. It's just there aren't very many things you can do that don't have risks involved. The laureate's work has ushered in a new era in physics. We now witness the dawn of a new field, gravitational wave astronomy. This will teach us about the most violent processes in the universe, and it will lead to new insights into the nature of extreme gravity. The winners say they're humbled to be in the same category as Albert Einstein, and they hope that 100 years from now, future scientists will build on their work the way they built on his. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.